Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ollie here from CryptoVest.com. Today is the 10th of September and we're going to be looking at Ethereum trading against the US dollar. We have a one day candle chart in front of us and all sorts have been going on with Ethereum right now. It's still crashing. We're now below $200. It's the lowest price point we've seen for Ethereum um, pretty much since July here. It actually spiked a little bit low and touched down at $200 around September time, but you know, well into 2017. So where it's just been a whole host of things. So generally in the news, the Ethereum hash rate is now the lowest levels we've seen in the last three months. Vitalix just came out and has spoken about the cryptocurrency ceiling has been reached and that we're unlikely to see a thousand times gains because there's just, everyone knows about cryptocurrencies now and those that are involved in the space already are and those that haven't probably won't. So he's saying that the only way to go from here is for those that are involved to just continue participating with blockchain technology and engage with platforms uh, and for it to develop from there. So um, some kind of defeatist comments from Vitalik. I guess he's just being realistic um, at this point. Um, other news to come is obviously, so the price action is taking a hammering. We're still inside this downtrending pattern. Um, it's been falling since uh, May all the way down. We've just fell through the support um, at $200 and now finding our way down the bottom. We're actually in this support zone here with the bottom. This next bottom at $165. So between $165 and 197 so we're just in there now at 195 which is where the price is now um, there's been a huge increase in ethereum shorts over the last three days and you can see that here it's been like a hundred percent increase in shorts so derivative traders are obviously fancying this asset to continue dropping you can see we're already up over hundred percent in shorts and that's just spiked off huge um, so just a, a lack of confidence in this asset um, in terms of development on August 31st, the uh, core developers came together and finally agreed to reduce the uh, Ether issuance block rewards to 2 Ethereum um, in line with the EIP 1234. Um, the community appears to be sort of breaking apart. Um, a lot of people were really pushing for 1.5 Ethereum issuance um, and other things. ASIC resistance wanted to push for prog power. And a lot of people weren't happy that they're postponing Casper for 12 months as well. So um, a few things that has kind of pushing the community apart and there's a, a bit of a prisoner's dilemma issue going on between uh, developers and miners and investors who uh, all have conflicting interests and are wanting different things for their own reasons rather than working together for the benefit and the utility of the group as a whole. Um, so a little bit of disbandment is really creating issues. Um, in terms of price right now you can see that uh, the check and money flow indicator, the, in the indicator line is now well below the signal line so we're, we're increasing, selling pressure is increasing. On the RSI, the asset is well oversold. Um, you know, we're almost down at 17 um, down here. So, you know, chances of that snapping back up, we usually expect these to, to pump back into the channel, as you can see, sort of here, you know, rocketing back and actually pushed into the overbought region above. But for now, uh, demand is kind of low. Uh, there's not really a great deal of enthusiasm behind it right now. Perhaps the Constantinople hard fork, um, which is due in next month? Yeah, October time. Maybe may create a bit of uh, interest again, but but for now it's certainly not looking great. Um, but for the full TA guys, we'll have a look at price targets. We'll have a look at a whole heap of uh, indicators as well, and we'll have an idea of where this asset could be going. Um, so check that out at CryptoVest.com. The link will be in the description. And yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you.